Hi guys, so welcome back to the Whale Channel. Um, currently, I am going to do my lush Oxford Street haul. Um, I got some Christmas stuff, so it's really exciting. And I'm gonna go through those guys with you now. So first off, what I got, which was an all year round favorite of mine, Ultra Bland. I got the 500 gram. Um, it's a really nice makeup remover. Um, and I really like it. And I can't open it because it's a really big lid. But yeah, it's so creamy. Um, I saw the 500 gram and it's actually made by a compounder that I really like. His name is Nev and he makes really nice um, creams and lotions and everything. So I decided to pick up one of these. Quite expensive, this is about 40 pounds, but it should do me for ages because out of the small 100 gram bottle, I probably get about two months. So this should do me forever. Um, I'm looking forward to using it because I have some on the go already. And then on to kind of Christmas specials that are in Lush, just in Oxford Street. So I went with quite a bit for the bath and then a couple of bits for the shower. The first thing I actually got off the kitchen um, before I went, it's this guy here. I'm keeping it wrapped up because I don't have a bag for it to go into and I'm worried the smell will go. It smells delicious. It's called Newoli Pa Bath Bomb. It's a really nice one. It has got jasmine and cedarwood so it smells quite fruity you guys can see here um it'll be nice later now going into the christmas season um jasmine is supposed to be quite good as a pain reliever so i'm going to use it when i really need it other things i got for the bath was i went a little bit mental um so the first thing i got is this guy here oh i can smell it through the bag this is beautiful this is called the sacred lotus bath bomb um, so this guy is again jasmine, but it's got a little bit of tonka in there and um, so it's kind of jasmine but sweet I suppose is how I would describe it. Oh, we have some crummies So when I take this, oh no, it broke. Oh, that's devastating. Oh, I must have packed it well enough in my bag Oh, its petals are gone. Oh, that's really annoying but it smells oh it smells delicious so it's supposed to have these purple guys all the way around um they're in here i mustn't have packed it well enough because i did have to fly home with this stuff uh it's the only bath bomb i got for that very reason the next things i got were a lot of bath melts so bath melts in lush are really nice so each store has a few but in oxford street they have like them Really nice. So the first one I got, and I got a few of these, is this little guy. Really cute. He's so adorable. He's called Furs. Oh, smells absolutely delicious. Um, that guy there is, I'll get the proper ingredients for you. Fair trick cocoa butter. Mmm, very nice. Almond. Um, and then you have jojoba oil, elderflower, gardenia, neroli coconut oil so really really moisturizing for your skin but also smells really good the next one i got is one of my favorites so i've got this a few times um i've been in oxford street like three times at this stage um this was my first massive haul though but i've got these guys before so this one here is the lime pass deal and it's great because they wrap them all up individually for you especially when you have a few so this one is shea and cocoa butter and it also has lime, coconut oil, and lemon oil. So it's quite citrusy. This one is a little bit squished. It should be a nice ball, but again, I flew with them, so it kind of looks like a squashed. Oh, it smells so good. A squashed mango. But that'll be really, really nice. Um, I quite like the oils because they melt into the water and they're really kind of quite cool. And um, the next one I got actually is one I haven't tried before, and it's a scent that's been around Lush for a while, but I haven't bothered with it. And it's called Monsieur Gusta Bath Bomb. Mm -hmm. So, quite French, as you'll notice, we have been in France recently. So, oh, I ripped the ingredients. Again, this one is lavender and jojoba oil and rose. So, all those nice kind of flurry smells, and it looks like another squished pancake. Um, I'm not very good at packing stuff in, don't we? Um, but the oils are quite melty. Oh. oh, it smells really, really nice. It's a really nice deep purple. Um, but really good for 
I think that one would be really nice. You know, you know what, like a really wintry evening? Rose, lavender, really tired, but I have a really nice sleep. I think that'll be really good. The next thing I got was one, again, I haven't tried. So this is a Johnny Apple Seed, a bath melt. So this one actually smells like apple. It's really nice. It has neroli and orange in it. There is no apple in it. Um, again, they're cocoa butter and shea butter. I'm not very good at ripping them open, however. And this one, oh, it's a circle. It didn't go squishy on me. It actually looks like an apple. It has like a little, little cinnamon stick in it. That is really, really nice. Um, that one I think is quite a fresh one. Um, so I think that one will be for, you know those days where you're like, ah, I have to go do something. Something important to be doing now. That one, it will be then. Now I am going on to bubble bars. So I got three different bubble bars. The first one I am going to show you is one that was actually inspired by Harry Potter, which I quite like. It's called Divination. And the Divination one is violet and patchouli and pine so it's quite herby i i feel like if it was harry potter you would be in herbology um i feel like it's a neville bath bomb and who doesn't love a bit of neville on bottom but it's divination oh it's spitting so cool i couldn't have done that if i tried to get it to do that but this guy you just hold under your tap and the water will swirly 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 and you'll get loads and loads of bubble bears. so i'm looking forward to that one i do love a bit of harry potter i have um the cursed child book ready and waiting um and i will have a bath and read the book and be very harry potter like especially this time of year i think harry potter and christmas go really really well together so the next one i got is actually one that's been in all the stores it was out earlier this year but they can't it in Oxford Street because they're mean and they don't let us all have it. So this one is called Flowering Tea. It looks like a tea bag. It's so cute and it has a little bath talk. And um, so this one is orange, jasmine, and then it has little flowers inside it. I'm really looking forward to using this one. It's really creamy in the bath. Um, I've had it before um, and I really liked it because I like really, really milky, creamy, soft baths um, and it really suits me. The next one I got is ginger, cinnamon and clove. So cinnamon, ginger are my favourite smells in the whole entire universe. And this one is called the Little Dragon Bubble Bar. The Little Dragon Bubble Bar It's actually a dragon. So it has two ends and it has the bit of paper in the middle. I'm actually holding it the wrong way. And it's a dragon. So, oh, it smells so cool. It's one of those really, really warming ones. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's one of those ones that I'm like, oh, Christmas. Um, I do have the magic of Christmas wand that you can get in all the stores, but this one is like an all year end Frox's Street. So I'm like, gonna try it gonna see if I like it and then I'm gonna order a million of them then I got three different chair gels so I went for the old reliable twilight um everyone knows the twilight really nice so this one is lavender with a little bit of tonka um and ylang ylang it's really nice a little bit sparkly really nice great for sleep it goes really well with the sleepy body lotion that they have out currently in all the stores so that's why i got that the next one i've got i've never tried before it's never been in any of the stores so i got plum rain this one is a brand new one so the ingredients list on it i have no idea how to pronounce most of the things in it but i will give it an attempt so we have plum juice I can pronounce that one. Umi Boshi infusion and Osmanthus Absolute and Petit Grain Oil. So this guy is really nice. I think it just it smells like a really rich plum. Oh, it's so good. It smells like a rich plum cakey kind of smell. Um it's really really nice I can't wait to use it I actually was really good and didn't use any of these before doing the video um but really lovely if you keep an eye on the Facebook page or onto the Twitter I will put up a little 
piece on how it feels on your skin um but oh it's really nice um i did get a bottle for a couple of other people just for treats and then i got one large share gel no i didn't get any of the one kilograms they have one kilogram in all of the share gels but just flying home and i couldn't fit everything i got ponche I love Ponche. It was out in every store a couple of years ago and they didn't bring it back. This one is really nice. Again, it's got your plum in there. I thought you just blocked my face completely while doing that. So it's got your plum in there, but also it's got Bushu, it's got Pettigrain, it's got Orange. It's really, really nice. A little bit of cinnamon in there too. So it's kind of quite nice and warming, but fruity. Kind of like not like a Christmas cake with orange in it, I suppose. I really love Ponche so much. It's the only large one that I got. I did also get some gifts that I can't show you because it's not Christmas yet, so I haven't given them out. Um, so I'll pop a list down below of all the different products that I've shown you here. Um, they're only available in Oxford Street, unfortunately, but um, they're really, really nice, um, worth kind of we got a deal on flights, so it worked out really well. Um, so it wasn't that expensive. Checked a bag coming home and got a bit of a haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Do all the usual things down below. Give us a like, subscribe. Um, any comments, pop them underneath if you have any questions about anything. Um, and other than that, I will see you soon.